Hello, Les from Thailand here. And today's video is going to be about how you can, if you're living here on a budget, how you can get around fairly cheaply. And majority of people that live over here, long time, have a motorbike or a, or a scooter. Excuse the hand waving, but there's lots of little flies around here that are a nuisance. Um, yeah, is having a, a motorbike or a scooter. I'll show you some pictures up above of the, the motorbike that I've got. It's a Honda Click 125. But although it's cheap as chips to run around and repair and, and insure, it can be expensive if you don't have a license. If you don't have a license, if you get stopped by the police, they'll find you a 400 baht for driving around with no license. And you'll get a white piece of paper, a little ticket, and that'll last for three or four days. So if you get caught again, um, you, you won't have to pay the fine, but that's the cheap part of if you get caught. If you have an accident on a motorbike, then that's more and more trouble for you because invariably, if you don't have a license, you're not insured, and if you're not insured and if you have an accident, you could end up not getting treated at hospital because not having any insurance because you don't have a license, and if you don't have any insurance, you might not get treated at the hospital. So for those people who are living here on a budget full time or for a long time, my advice is to go and get a license. It's easy to go and get a license. There's numerous private schools throughout Thailand and you can do that for about a thousand baht, it might be 12 or 1300 baht now, but it takes a full day to go and do it. But you go to a school, they'll teach you all what you need to know about the signs, about driving a motorbike safely and a thousand baht, 1200 baht, something like that and you're going to get your license and your first license lasts for a couple of years and then after that it lasts for five years and then every five years you renew it and every time you renew it it's it's a day, a day out of your life to go and renew your license after every five days but then that means you're insured if you have a motorbike accident again the, the motorbike that I've got is a Honda Click 125 and I'll go through the reasons why I had the Honda Click. I used to have a PCX but the PCX every time you got a puncture and you do get many punctures over here so maybe it's four or five every year you get punctures so but with the PCX because it was a tubeless tyre it was seven or eight hundred baht every time I got it fixed so I was sick of getting it fixed and being expensive and a lot of the little garages that fix motorbikes here can't fix the punctures on a on a PCX tyre whereas a uh, Honda Click 125 tube, tube tyres so to get the front tyre fixed it's 120 baht to get the, the back tyre fixed or a new tube put in it's 150 baht it's even cheaper if you, if you get them to repair the inner tube but I always get a brand new inner tube every time I get it for 120 baht for the front and 150 baht for the back it's nothing it's cheap to go and get it re repaired also if, if you have a little accident on your motorbike if you fall off it and scrape it it's so cheap to get fixed uh, my father-in-law was here for a holiday with his son and his son borrowed my motorbike and and fell off it at about 30 kilometers an hour and I've had the motorbike now for nearly eight years and I was gutted when he brought it back because it's never been dropped and it's never f um, nobody's ever fell off it apart from him so he, d he did cause a little bit of damage and I'll show you the photographs that of the damage that he did to it it was more damage to his pride than actually the motorbike but the front quarter panel was scratched the front mudguard was scratched the exhaust was bro the exhaust cover was broken and the, the skirt underneath the motorbike was all scratched. So we took it to the local motorbike shop about five minutes drive from where we are and he fixed everything and the whole lot came to about three and a half thousand baht, which is about 80 pounds or something like that. It, it was gone for, for two days and he brought it back and it, again, if you look at the picture, it just looks like brand new again. A wonderful job. So it's cheap as chips to get anything repaired or replaced. To get the motorbike service every 2,000 kilometres, a new, new bottle of oil, 160 baht at, at the Honda garage. So it's cheap to get it, to get it fixed or serviced. You'll see a little green lock there on the photograph. 
So that, that's like an extra security locker. That just sits on the, the disc, front disc of the motorbike, and it's another security lock. So 350 baht for a cheap lock like that, it stops anybody wheeling the motorbikes away because there are motorbike thefts over here. Not many, but there is. And I think for 350 baht, just to put a little simple lock on it, it just, it, they'll look, go and look and take somebody else's without the lock on it. That's my theory of as to why spending 350 baht is, is nothing. So just do that for peace of mind. It just slips on, unlocks, puts underneath your seat. And as you see, underneath your seat, there's plenty of space for a bit of shopping that you can do. Always wear a helmet when you're driving around a motorbike. So you'll see many, many Thai people not wearing helmets. You just have to fall off your motorbike. You're going to hit your head against the road. And that's holiday over. Life over, maybe, sometimes as well. Because Thailand is one of the most dangerous places in the world for driving motorbikes. There's that many accidents over here. There's that many Thai people without a license or insurance over here also. So be prepared to take a test, get insurance and have a safe trip. I had a motorbike accident when I was 17 and I never rode a motorbike again until I came back to Thailand and I learned to drive a motorbike in Pattaya, probably one of the busiest cities in, in the whole of Thailand. But it can be done. We drive 40 or 50 kilometers an hour, so it's safe to drive around at, at that type of speed, so your reactions are, are quick. But the a little 125 will do 80 and 90 kilometers an hour. But you hit a pothole or a soy dog runs out in front of you and you hit one of them, you're going to come off and you're going to hurt yourself. So for a brand new motorbike, like the Honda 125 that I've got now, with about 52, 53,000 baht, Mine's about eight years old now, so although mine's only got less than 10,000 kilometers on it, you could still pick one of them up for about 25, 30,000 baht second hand for about seven or eight year old. So motorbikes are easy to get repaired and replaced here. So don't worry about buying a second hand one, because even if you buy a second hand one, there's something wrong with it. It doesn't cost much to get it fixed. So. And they do hold the value pretty well, motorbikes over here. So I've just bought one for the for the wife's mother, little Fino, and that was 23,000 baht for a nine-year-old bike with 18,000 kilometers on it. So, and that was from a garage, so it's guaranteed for three months, he said. So, you know, they're everywhere. You can go and buy them everywhere. But if you're gonna drive a motorbike around here, Get a license, wear a helmet, make sure you drive safely around the roads because there's that many accidents over here. So I hope this was helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you like it, give it a thumbs down if you don't. Leave your comments down below. Until the next time, place from Thailand, bye for now.